What's going on guys, it's Robert here again. So today we're gonna go through another tutorial, uh, this time with car photography. Uh, so this is one of the cars I took. It was, uh, it's a Honda Civic Type R. It was somebody that I met on Instagram. I messaged them and they said, yeah, of course, let's do it. So we're collaborating to take some nice shots of the car. This was actually in Queens, New York. Um, it was a bit of a travel for me, but I don't really mind. I love the city, I love New York. Um, and you know, I, I like this car. I wanted to take pictures of it. So we met up in this spot that I actually never heard of before. Uh, she told me about it. I had no idea that it was a private spot. So we were there and we were taking some shots here and there. Next thing you know, some guy comes, start kicking us out. So luckily enough, we were able to get the shots that we needed and we were able to get the, um, the look that we wanted and the angle that we wanted to get. And the best part of it all, it was actually a sunset. The sun was hitting at a perfect angle. It was hitting, it was hitting the car so good. It looked awesome. So we're gonna see a light room. So let's go ahead and jump in light room, into Lightroom and let's go ahead and do the step-by-step -step in how I edit my cars. So let's go ahead here, jump in Lightroom. So we see here, this is a Honda Civic Type R. It's a black car. Uh, so as you can see, the sun was hitting it at a perfect angle. And I did purposely underexpose it. Reason being is because I wanted to make sure the sky comes out. I wanted to make sure the, the lighting on the car is not too harsh, not too overexposed. So that's why I underexpose it. And that's why I take raw pictures, is so that in Lightroom I can go ahead and bring out all those shadows out and bring out more of those details back into the photo. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to expose it. I'm gonna expose it a little bit. As you can see as I'm doing that, the sky is you know, getting overblown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lower the highlights so the sky can, the sky can come back out or it's still a little too overexposed this guy, so I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up those shadows to bring up the car. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clarify it a little bit to get it more sharper. And I'm gonna go also dehaze it to bring out that sky and those colors to pop. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mess with the tone curve. I'm gonna go ahead and raise uh, this, the left side a little bit higher to get that little fade look. I don't know about that fade look, but that fade look makes me, it makes the photo I think looks great every single time. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the highlights a little bit more to bring back those shadows. I like the shadows because of the, just the way the sun is hitting it and just the way the, sh it, it, the shadow makes the shot, I think personally. There you go. <clears throat> and I'm also gonna go ahead and bring it, give it a vignette. Always don't forget, enable profile corrections, your lens corrections. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower those highlights. I mean, bring down the vignette. There you go. Nice. Awesome, so now I, I edit the exposure and the lighting and everything like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and edit the colors. So what I'm gonna do is, come on. There we go. Awesome, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to brighten those, I'm gonna saturate those oranges and those yellows. There you go, nice. And then the car has red, as you can see. Also, there's green in the shot and there's blue. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna go ahead and saturate the blues because there's a lot of blues coming out in this car. So actually what I might end up doing, I might desaturate a little bit more. There you go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the greens a little bit more blue. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. It might not look that great, but I'm gonna try it anyway. That's why in Lightroom, what's good, you can always edit the way you, you, you can start messing with the, with the tools and everything like that if you don't know how to use them. And then worst case scenario, all you can do is just click on do. And then in that way, you know, at least you, you got to see how it would look. So that's so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make those greens a little bit more blue. I'm also gonna go ahead and desaturate the greens. And I'm also gonna darken it. Yeah, so I actually kind of like it. It's not that much of a difference, but I, I like it. So what I'm gonna do is also, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten those reds so the reds can pop out in the car a little bit more. And maybe the oranges and the yellow. And I'm gonna 
keep it back. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and saturate a little bit more. There you go. Just a tad more. Awesome. Let me go ahead also. I'm gonna go ahead and do haze as well. There you go. Awesome. Alright, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna now adjust the split toning. So uh, here there's a lot of highlights coming from the left side, and it's a lot of shadows from the right side. So because there's already a lot of color coming in from the left side in the highlights, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the shadows instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise the saturation in the shadows. There you go, awesome. I'm going to actually expose it just a little bit more. Sorry, not expo underexpose it. And then bring out those sh shadows a little bit more. There you go. Awesome. All right, let's see, maybe darken those oranges and those yellows. Ooh, too much. There you go, awesome. Awesome, looking great, looking great. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a masking tool to the top. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna look. I'm gonna give it a shot. I want to make it more blue to give out more of the sky and see how that comes out. But let me try. There you go. That looks good. Awesome. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and raise the shadows just a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a brushing mask to the rims. I want to make the rim pop out just a little bit more. It's a little hitting in the shadow. So if you hold space bar and you click, you can zoom in. And you can hold space down and they hold the space down you can also drag so i'm going to go ahead and give it this brushing tool mask because i want to make the rims pop out a little more in the brembos brush bigger so i think if you scroll up and down in your mouse you can make it bigger also if you hit left bracket or right bracket and your keyboard also makes it bigger good also if you hover a little bit over if you hover over a little spot you can also see what it is exactly that you highlighted or if you click on O, you click O, it also shows what you highlighted okay. so let's see i'll go ahead and raise the exposure just a little bit that's just enough my lower lid a little, little bit more, but I'm gonna zoom out so I can see. Actually, that looks great. Awesome. Awesome, I think that's pretty much it. Let's check out the before and after. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see here, the before and after. Um, actually, I might go back in. It looks like the fade is a little too high on the car. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. There you go. Now let's see. Awesome. Yeah, it looks great. As you can see here, uh, the before and after. Uh, so a lot of times, uh, the landscape makes the shot. As you can see, those sun, that sunset, the blue sky, the green grass, all of that in the shadows, it's all made from the lighting, from the landscape and all of that. So that's why lighting and landscapes, like the way you position the car and the spot that you select for the car matters a lot. And that's why even for this day, I specifically told the owner of the car, I was like, hey, let's wait till sunset and let's take the picture at sunset. Because the way the sun hits the car, brings out those details of the car, brings out the curves, brings out everything. So that's why I always recommend to sometimes it's, it's best to just wait until the time that is best, especially in lighting, or sometimes even look at the weather and see if it's going to be cloudy day, it's going to be raining, it's going to be sunshine. So like even this day, they said uh, sun, sunshine with 
partly cloudy. So I wanted that because even the, the clouds also make the shot. In this picture, it was like one little cloud, but you know, sometimes you have to wait. But uh, that's pretty much it. This is my before and after of my car photography. Stay tuned for other videos. I'm gonna go ahead and also do some car photography, some editing in the luxury cars that I took, and then also some other landscapes. That's why stay tuned because I'm also gonna take you guys to the Adirondacks so you guys can see. I have to do it soon. I couldn't do it recently because it's been raining, but I will be doing it soon because uh, when fall comes, it goes away really quick. So stay tuned. Also guys, please like and subscribe my video. Um, if you have any questions about the editing, please let me know. If there's anything else you wanna see in editing, please let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.